So they asked me, they said, are you an expat or are you an immigrant? Mm -hmm. But they said it more like, are you an expat or are you an immigrant? Or they'll just tell you, you're one or the other. You're one or the other. I mean, (laughs) you know, like, it's complicated. (laughs) It's complicated. (laughs) Hey guys, it's Oman and Christina from from Our Our Rich Journey. Journey. On today's video, we are answering this question that we are posed all the time. Are we expats or are we immigrants after living here in Portugal for five years? If you know our journey, you know that we moved to Portugal from California after achieving financial independence and retiring early. And we have lived here in Portugal documenting our lives, sharing with you guys the ups and downs of this beautiful, beautiful country. And one of the questions that comes up time and time again is, are you guys expats or are you immigrants? Because you've heard us use both terms in our videos. And so on today's video, we are going to answer that question. Yes, so what truly is the difference between an expat and an immigrant? Is there an elitist difference? Is there a political difference? Is there an actual definition that distinguishes between an expat and an immigrant? We want to talk about that. But before we do this, we actually want to call Aman's dad and talk to him. Aman's dad lived with us in Spain. He lived with us in Japan. And now he's actually living in Japan. He has been living in Japan for the past 17 years. And even before that, he brought his entire family, Aman, his brother, his wife, everyone to Africa and lived in Africa for five years. So we want to call him and see if he has any insight into the difference between an expat and an immigrant. I'm going to love this conversation because my dad is the original traveler. You know, <laughs> he's, the, he's the original Our Rich Journey. And so I can't wait to hear what he has to say. Hey, daddy. You know. Hey Gigi. Hey, we got a uh, hey. we got a we got we got a question for you, Dad. Yeah. Can you can you talk? Yeah, come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. So you know when we moved to Africa when I was a kid, you know yes. you you and mommy you got jobs as teachers. We moved to Nigeria. When we were living in Nigeria, did you consider yourself an expat or an immigrant? Oh, I was an expat. Oh, really? Okay, okay. And so, what about what about when you're in Japan right now? What do you consider yourself? Yeah, because you, you've lived in Japan for almost 17 years. Do you do you consider yourself an expat or an immigrant? Okay, let me let me be clear on this. What is an immigrant? <laughs> <laughs> What is an immigrant? What is it? Okay, so I mean, what do you what do you think an immigrant is, and what do you think an expat is? What's the difference in your mind? I I never really thought about it. I just figured, okay, just a place to go and stay. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't label it. You know, it was just like, okay, I'm staying over here. But to label it. mm To label it, then I would figure I'm an expat. Expat is um, ex from the country, so I'm pat in some other country. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I like like how you always make up your own definition. (laughs) All right. All right. So what would you call, how would you define an immigrant then? Immigrant seems like you're migrating to another place. Like immigration, you immigrate to another space. Uh, it's like a little confusing at this point right now. Right? Mm-hmm, mm. So, well, 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 let me ask you this. Like, sometimes people will say that an expat is more transient. Like, they don't see themselves as being in a place permanently. So, w- w- when we lived in Africa, we only lived there for five years. Did you, did you, when you, when we moved there, did you think we were going to be there forever? No. Okay. I didn't think we'd be there forever. Okay. So, I mean, that, that, that could be one of the reasons why maybe you relate more to expat. But you lived in, you lived in Japan for mm-hmm. forever. I mean, do you ever see yourself leave, leaving Japan? Maybe it's, uh, it's, it's a variable. It depends on the situation and circumstance. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. So maybe that's why expat resonates more with you because it's more of like a like you, you feel more like a globetrotter right yeah 
you've always you've always you've always traveled a lot and never never really you know i guess what what do you call home what what would be considered your home the world the world all right daddy listen i got i got to call you back later but i just had the, the those questions to ask you all right all right all right thanks dg all right um uh, i have one question now okay Yeah. Okay, then you call me back about this expat and uh, migration, immigration, whatever it is. <laughs> All right, Daddy. I love you. <laughs> All right, I love you. See you. Talk to you. <laughs> you know, my dad is, is a trip. <laughs> I think what was so interesting is that for him, he never really thought about the label. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, he was just like, I'm just living there. <laughs> you know, I come and go. Maybe I'm here for, for five years. Maybe I'm here for 17 years. Don't ask me about my my situation. I'm just a person. <laughs> yeah, I like how he, he took the root word and he tried to formulate, well, it must mean this based off of, you know, Pat or yeah. what did he say? He said, Grit he said, or I don't know. He said, He's he said, trying I'm to break extra, up the word. I'm yeah. X from this country and I'm, and I'm Pat here. Yeah, <laughs> whatever that. Pat means, I guess. <laughs> so that, is, that was a really interesting yes. take, you know, because I think sometimes people just don't even care about the labels. They just love where they're at. They enjoy where they're at. And there's not necessarily a need to put a label on it. But for people who have seen our videos, there are a lot of people that comment and really try in to, defi to define us and tell us whether we are expats or whether we're immigrants, and it can get pretty controversial in the comment section. So why don't we start off by actually giving a, uh, what is it called? A dictionary. A, a, Webster, a Webster definition. <laughs> yeah, a Webster definition of the difference between an expat or an expatriate and an immigrant. So according to Merriam-Webster, an expatriate is a person who lives in a foreign country. So that's pretty straightforward. The Cambridge English Dictionary says the same thing. It's someone who does not live in their own country. So according to that definition, as long as you don't live in your home country, you're an expatriate. So I guess my dad was right. Right, but I guess that could be an immigrant or an expatriate. So now we have to look at what is the specific definition of an immigrant. So Merriam-Webster defines an immigrant as a person who comes to a country to take up permanent residence. And the Cambridge English Dictionary echoes this, saying it's a person who has come to a different country in order to live there permanently. So an immigrant is someone that moves to a country and plans to live there permanently. So when my dad was talking about how we all moved to Africa when I was a kid, he wasn't actually expecting to live in Africa permanently. So I guess he didn't consider himself an immigrant at the time, although he really never even considered himself anything. Right, right. But, <laughs> but, you know, if you look at how we have traveled and how we've lived around the world, I lived in Thailand and I wasn't planning on staying in Thailand forever. I was a student. When we lived in Spain, we were there on a work contract and it was a predefined amount of time. So it definitely wasn't a permanent situation, but we lived on and off in Spain for about two years. And then when we lived in Japan, we lived in Japan for almost nine years, right? On and off for almost nine years. And I would never consider myself as someone that was immigrating to Japan. I definitely felt like I was an expat in Japan because I wasn't there on a permanent basis. In fact, our work sponsored us in Japan, so that was a very temporary situation. So, you know, this term immigrant actually create kind of a conundrum for me <laughs> because we have been in Portugal all this time, and I feel like Portugal is our permanent home. I really can't see myself living anywhere else in the world. So from that perspective, I feel like I am an immigrant here in Portugal, right? But there is a piece of me it wants to, you know, I still want to, I love to explore, right? And I don't, I don't want to feel tied down to any one thing. So the term expat, that, that also appeals to me. And I think the one thing that we're always aware of is that whether we call ourselves expats or immigrants, we always still feel like we are guests in this country mm -hmm. and we have to adapt to the different changes in the country as well. So Maybe we could see ourselves living here permanently for the rest of our lives, or maybe something changes where we think, okay, now it's time to move. So it's really, I feel like we identify with staying here for a very long time, but we also have this in the back of our heads that we are not 
permanent residents here. We are guests here. If we are forced to leave, we would have to leave. So I think that's at the back of our mind as well. There's something else that is at the back of this, the back of the mind of everybody's <laughs> when we're talking about this, this dichotomy. And it's the political thing that's going on, right? Because both of these terms can be used in a negative way or in a positive way, depending on the rhetoric that is behind them. I mean, here in Portugal, expats have a pretty bad name for pushing the price of things up, driving up housing, driving up the cost of living. So when you call yourself an expat, it sounds like you're not committed or really have loyalty to the country of Portugal. Like you just wanna come here, use up all the resources and leave, right? Whereas someone that is an immigrant to me, that is a person that wants to be a part of this culture, a part of this country. They want to make this their home. And so you see more positivity around that particular term. But I think, again, to me, it's all really self-defining. I know mm. that people like to put labels on other people. A lot of times in our comments, people say, like, it's elitist to call yourself an expat, and expats and immigrants are the same thing, but technically they are defined differently. And so I think when people try and put a label on anyone, whether they're an expat or whether they're an immigrant, that could be more about the person that's trying to put the label on people versus the actual person. Because I think whether someone is an immigrant or whether someone is an expat, it's really self-defining based off of whether that person wants to stay or can stay in that country permanently. But you know what? I like to take control of the narrative, especially when it comes to how I feel about myself and how I identify. And so I think that for us, we're gonna use the term however we see fit. Some days we're expats, some days we're immigrants. It depends on the day of the week and how we are feeling. If for <laughs> some reason we don't feel welcomed here, we're expats. <laughs> if we feel welcomed and a part of the culture and the community, we're immigrants, we are here to stay. And I think that's how you should look at it. When you are at a place and you feel like you wanna be there, permanently, then you are trying to make an immigration decision. But if you are just checking it out, if you are, you know, testing it out, then you're probably an expat because you're not committed just yet. So we know there's going to be a lot of interesting comments down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Please keep it civil. We are here in a community where we're trying to share and grow and learn from one another. So if you have a, you, if you have a comment, please leave it below. We'd love to hear it. We'd love to hear other people respond to those comments. And of course, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and join, join the, the journey. journey.